or STCW is just a starting point, the most required training and certificate that you must have. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose Edith. Thank you to my old and new subscriber. Today's video is about the most required training and certificate that you must have to be able to work on the ship at sea. You've heard so much about shipping, the career security you can have as a seafarer, or the good salary. Is it about the traveling experience, all these amazing things that you can achieve as being a seafarer, but you're wondering how can you get in, how can you start? This is one of the ways you can start by first of all having all these certificates before you can even apply to a company and then you can become a seafarer like me or any other person that you know the very first uh, certificate or training you will need is STCW STCW stands for Convention on Standard of Training the Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers 1978 Convention if you want to work on a mission ship of about 24 meter and above you have to first of all do your stcw training after doing your stcw course or training you'll be able to know the minimum qualification standards for masters officers or ratings on seagoing vessels or large yachts basic training or stcw is just a starting point for any individual that would like or is seeking an opportunity to work in the maritime industry. Your STCW training is divided into different courses. Inside one certificate, there are other courses. It's been divided into other courses. Let me tell you the other courses. Personal, safety, and social responsibility. This is just a theoretical aspect of safety. They will teach you in the class about safety and social responsibility. You have basic fire prevent prevention and firefighting theory and experimental they will take you to go fight fire they will teach you how to fight fire in case of such instances on your ship the other courses are personal survival technique yes on board the ship in case of man over what what can you do in case of abundant abandon ship what can you do in all those safety signals what are you supposed to do in case of that then we have elementary first aid. If you see your colleague in an enclosed space, what will be your action? All those things are being taught in your STW trainings. You can acquire your STCW in any maritime institution in your country. So let me mention a few institutions that you can get your STCW. You can get it at Maritime Academy of Nigeria in Akwaibom State. You can get it in Maritech in Lagos, Coastal Maritime. Uh, Elkins, Sharkins, there are a lot of maritime institutions you can get your STCW. It's just a week course, a, let's say a five days course, and maybe on the last day of your course, which is a Friday, you could start the class on Monday, and then on the Friday, you could be issued your certificate, or you might be issued the next week, Monday, but it's just a one week course that you go for and you get a certificate. Then if you go to the next certificate or training you can go for, which is your ISPS. ISPS is an international ship and port facility security this is an essential maritime regulation for the safety and uh, security of ships ports cargo and crew on board the ship before ISPS, it was just about safety at sea when you go for this course you are taught about safety not just at sea including the ports you can also get to do your ISPS training in all those institutions i mentioned earlier the next um, requirements that you need, you must have your international passport. Any country or any part of the world that you're from, your international passport is a means of identification for you as an individual or as a citizen. So I am in Nigeria. To be able to work on a ship, I need to have my Nigerian international passport. This enable me to travel from different countries of the world because working on the ship of course, I mentioned travel experience in my in one of the benefits of working on the ship. You'll be, depending on the company you're working with, some are foreign going vessels. You'll be able to work, go on dif different countries. 
so you will need your international passport you need your yellow card yellow card or international certification of vaccination this shows that you are vaccinated against yellow fever so you must have your yellow card you can acquire your yellow card in any port health office it's just a one day thing you go to a port health office request for a yellow card you pay a little sum of amount and you'll be issued your yellow card that takes us to the next one your seaman's book your seaman's is very important you have to have some other documents i mentioned earlier before you can go apply for your seaman's book because when you go for your seaman's book you'll be asked of your stcw you'll be asked of your isps you'll be asked if you have your international passport you'll be asked of dif different other documents that you need to have before they can even go ahead to issue or process your discharge book this is done at nemasa nemasa is a nigerian regulatory body that domesticates the international maritime laws and regulations in our country nigeria other countries might have their own regulatory bodies but here in nigeria we know of nemasa so for you to get your discharge book you go to any to nemasa office here we have nemasa office here in lagos if you're in lagos we have head office we have the one at marine road the one at marine road is where you you do your discharge book marine road apapa this seaman's book contains the full record of a particular seaman's sea experience and their certification that's why i told you you must go there with the above the already mentioned certificate i mentioned earlier you must go there with them and when you do this your discharge book and you take it to work anytime you sign up from your contract you must take it to the office for them to record your C experience and your certificate the next certificate or training you have to do is having your NIMASA medical report or certificate going on board the ship you have to be fit you have to be sound the are designated hospital or clinics that NIMASA has put in place to conduct this medical examination so you go there it's, it's just a one-day thing you go there they conduct all the physical internal let's say internal and external examination on you blood urine your excrete everything they will check your height your uh, weight everything is literally checked if you are fit to work on board then depending on the type of vessel you're going to work on for example i work on a tanker ship you have to have your basic oil and chemical tanker familiarization course or certificate and people that works on other ships like service boats offshore vessels that need dp i have not worked on a general cargo before or a railroad ship i don't know what extra certificate they need if you know that say something on the comments but i know of tanker so you have to have your tanker familiarization course here yeah, they'll teach you basic things you need to know about oil chemical cool oil and safety procedures on how to handle things in case of exit let's say oil spillage in case of any issue arising from the type of cargo you're carrying so this tanker formulation will training will help you to know ahead of time what you're supposed to do what type of different type of cargoes different type of products so after getting all these documents you, you can now go to a company you cannot even go to a company to tell them i want to work on a ship without you having all these documents so in all of these documents i mentioned you have to have them ready and set before you can even walk to a company to say I need a job and they will look at you twice you have to do all these documents and then when you start working on a ship you can then apply for your NIMASA ID this is like a means of identifying you as a seafarer you've started working on board the ship already so with your NIMASA ID you are I think there is a list that you're being placed in the, in the Nigeria seafarer list your name is also placed there 
so i help i hope this video help someone that is planning that is inspiring that is confused on how to go about becoming a seafarer a sailor a seaman go get your training done go get all your certificate ready because you're gonna become a sailor you're gonna get that job so get all your papers ready then go and apply i drop a video before now on how you can apply for jobs go watch them i will link it i will link the video up here go watch it and then proceed to apply 2023 you're taking over you're owning that job darling thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for staying by me if you've not subscribed yet please do subscribe you're free to ask me questions on the comment section and i'll do a video answering it please 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 share my content with your colleagues with your friends with your family member and thank you for watching see you in my next video bye